guys. So today we're going to be making a landscape inspired by my favorite artist, Vincent Van Gogh. And I'm not really crazy about his paintings as much as I am about his drawings. So we are going to look at some of his drawings and we are going to make a landscape inspired by some of his work. Are you ready? Let's go. So here is a Vincent Van Gogh drawing and um, I particularly love his landscapes. Um, I love his landscapes because they have a variety of lines and shapes, primarily lines. So if you look at this work right here, it's got um, vertical lines, it's got some diagonal lines, it's got some curvy lines, it has darker lines, lighter lines, it has dots, zigzags, um, thick lines, uh, bumpy lines. There are so many different types of lines and your eyes move around and enjoy all the variety. This is another a Vincent Van Gogh drawing and again the entire paper is filled with different types of lines and there are short thick lines, they're short thin lines, they're short um, grayish lines and some that are darker, some are organized in, uh, in order to draw the tree trunks, some are curvy, um, some are horizontal, some are vertical, some are diagonal, sometimes you see dots. So. If you look at this, again, your eyes can go all over the paper and you see lots of variety in terms of different types of lines. And last but not least, this example. So I decided I was going to do a Google search for the terms Zentangle Designs. Before I start my landscape, I wanted to have a dictionary of all the possibilities in terms of lines and shapes and designs. It was important that I found interesting designs and different lines that I will then use to make my Van Gogh inspired landscape. Now I'm ready. I get a paper and I draw several lines going from one side to the other. In each section, I chose a different type of line or design. I used my visual dictionary that I had made earlier to help me decide which ones I wanted. This took a while and my hands were a tiny bit tired. And just like Van Gogh, I made sure the sky also had lines. As you can see, I did my landscape using an app. The app I used is called Sketchbook App. There are lots of art apps that you can use, but don't be dissuaded if you don't have an iPad um, to work on or um, a device. You can easily do this on paper using a black marker and paper. So don't worry. Let's go do another one. I had so much fun with the other one. I wanted to make another one. It was so fun picking a different design for each and filling in each section, knowing that no matter what I did, I couldn't go wrong. The fun part was choosing. It was entirely up to me what I decided for each section. For this section, I chose some longer, thicker lines. And this section, I chose ovals, somewhat overlapped. Here, I chose a smudge mark. And here, some smaller circles. On top, I decided to do some diagonal lines, then crosshatch 
with another set of diagonal lines. And remember, just like Van Gogh, the sky also must have lines. In this case, I used long lines that went across the page horizontally. I decided to experiment with layering some of it so that I can make some areas a tiny bit darker. It was really fun doing this. I was listening to music. It was very relaxing. At the end, I decided it was important to sort of mark off each section and I thought that would make my drawing more successful. There you go. My Van Gogh inspired okay, landscape. I hope you had as much fun as I did making these landscapes. So you can make them on an iPad. You can do it on paper. Um, so there's no excuses. If you do make a piece of artwork, please share it with me through the web on hashtag Catellus Art. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys.